You know, earlier today, I ordered via DoorDash a 24-pack of Coca-Cola. And unfortunately, unlike the last time I did DoorDash, which was, you know, getting an order from Taco Bell, this one went a little longer than it should have. Even DoorDash had to refresh their, you know, the web page and apologize for the delay because it shouldn't have taken that long. And this is an order I made. Um, I'm trying to see what time. This is an order I made earlier in the day, like around, I would say, 2 o'clock, 1 something, and it didn't get delivered till a little after 3. And, you know, here's the thing. When I got charged for this, and this is my receipt right here. I don't know if you can see that really well, but that's my receipt right there. And, you know, here's the thing. When, when I ordered it initially, the total for it, the subtotal for the, for the, uh, for the Coke was sixteen fifty. The estimated tax, if you want to add that on, was $1.83. So almost, I would say, eighteen thirty three at most, right? Well, when you add in all the fees, even locally, this is what it came up with. And I don't know if you guys can really, uh, really see that, but that's what it came up with. So again, I don't know if you guys can really see that very, very well, but that's what it came up with. And the, the grand total at the end of it was $30 locally. And that is ridiculous. There is no doubt. And even my niece, who about two hours ago, two and a half hours ago, um, at the time of this recording, ordered a Starbucks from the Starbucks close by to her. And even she was surprised and shocked at how much, you know, it costs via DoorDash. Because normally when she goes in store, it's about 14, it's about 450, I should say. It's about 450. But when she went to go order it via DoorDash, it cost her $8.15 more, which surprised her. And when I told her that it's about the fees and even showed her the, the amount I had to pay uh, today for a pack of, you know, 24 pack of Coca-Cola, you know, my older sister chimed in and asked, just soda? And I said, yes. You know, and I basically commented, it's not that cheap, DoorDash ain't that cheap, is it? Which is, you know, basically, in my opinion, you know, kind of telling me, you know, and alerting me to the fact that, you know, now we under now there's an understanding as to why these services are not doing so much on the uptake. That basically why they're seeing a downslope because of the fees. And I think if there's anything they should work on, basically, it's, en it's ensuring that if you're going to order locally and have it delivered locally, that the fees shouldn't be this much. In fact, some fees should be cut back. Like if you want to do the tax fees, that's fine. You want to do the tip and delivery fee and everything, that's fine. You know, you want to do that, that's fine. But in the bottle feed, uh, bottle fee, I should say, you know, if it's a drink or some kind, that's fine. All the other fees, they shouldn't be there, you know. Or if anything, it should be the store that compensates these, um, you know, these people at DoorDash or Uber Eats and Grubhub. They should be the ones compensating them, not the customers. Because, you know, the, it's these stores that have the items that the customers want and everything. And it's these stores that basically are where these people are going to. And it should be them compensating them for the trouble of having to go out of the way, even if it's locally. Now, I get and understand why people like me have to do the, have to pay all these fees in addition to our initial order. I get that. But still, it's kind of ridiculous. And for anybody that does, you know, work via DoorDash, or Uber Eats or Grubhub that might be watching this, if you're wondering, in my opinion, why you're not seeing that big of a upslope in, in business, it's because the company you're working for on the side, if not, you know, for a living, is not being considerate about the fees. They're not. I mean, locally, like I said, they shouldn't charge that many fees. I mean, if anything, if I look at my receipt right here, you know, I understand the bottle fee. I get that. I just un I I understand the service fee. I get that, and everything, and the delivery fee. I get that, 
But if it's local, then delivery should be free, period. Service fee, I get that. But if you're going to do it locally, like I live here in Newman. My niece lives in Modesto. You know, and my older sister lives in Patterson. If we're ordering from the places that are located in those areas, like I'm ordering from Knob Hill in Newman, Knob Hill here in Newman, right down the street from me, or my niece is ordering from the Starbucks right across the corner from her in Modesto, or my older sister is ordering from the Walmart in Patterson, you know, via DoorDash and everything, and then to me, from a local standpoint, the delivery fee should be non-existent since it's in town. But I understand that if you got to go out of town, then yes, charge the fee. That's only right. But if it's local, oust the fee. Get rid of the delivery fee and all that. The only fee you should be focusing on if it's not something that's alcoholic or soda beverage, water beverage related, you know, the only other fee outside of a bottle fee you should focus on is the service fee and the estimated tax. The small order fee just, I believe it's in the same category as, you know, delivery. If it's local, just like delivery locally should be free, the small order fee should be non-existence too. But if it's out of town, again, understandable. And to me, if they make those kind of changes to us, like, okay, you're delivering locally, the small order fee, not in void. Delivery fee, not in void. You know, they do that, I guarantee you'll see an uptake, they'll see an uptake, you know, uh, in business because people won't have to worry about being charged an additional fee if they live in that same vicinity. And I think, you know, and I think that's something they should really consider because, you know, look, I, his thing, I could spend, I could spend, you know, 30 bucks on a 24 pack and a 12 pack, you know, just going to get it myself, you know, walking down there or whatever, and it would cost less. And I know my family and I know people watching this would probably tell me the same thing. I could have done that. But the point that I'm getting at, point that I'm getting at, is I'm trying to test out this service that my sisters have kind of suggested that myself and my mom try out for convenience sake. Because it's easier, you know, for us, it's, you know, in the long run, especially as my mom gets older, you know, to have things delivered to us. The only issue is the fees, it's the delivery fees, the service fees. And if it wasn't for the small order fee and the delivery fee from a local standpoint, you know, you know, and they just null and voided that, I don't think we'd have a problem. But it's because of all these additional fees, you know, including delivery and small order and service, even from a local standpoint, that is basically pissing a lot of folks off. And why you see DoorDash, why you see, you know, you know Uber Eats and Grubhub going down going down, uh, you know, going down a uh, hill in a big way. I mean, you could have the NBA, you know, on ABC, ESPN, NBC Sports, whatever, TNT, TBS, you can have them all promote DoorDash and Grubhub and Uber Eats to, to the highest caliber, there's no doubt. But the honest truth, the honest truth, ladies and gentlemen, is that these services are not doing as well as they should. They're not doing as good as they should. And the reason for that is these ridiculous fees. Again, I get it if you're going from out of town, from one town to another doing this service and everything. Yeah, I get it if you want, I get it there and understand that hey, you need to charge those fees because somebody might be coming from Patterson to Modesto or Patterson to Newman or Patterson to Turlock or Turlock to Newman. I get you have to, you know, charge some money because of the gas and everything they're wasting. And, you know, that's fine. That's understandable. That's acceptable in my opinion. But when it comes to localness, no. I don't think you should be doing it. I think delivery and a small order fee and, heck, even additionally the service fee should all be null and void because it's local. It's in town. You know, it's not, you know, it's not some, you know, it's not some city you know, uh, 20 miles away or something like that, or, you know, whatever. It's in town, and because it's in town, it should be free. You shouldn't have to charge customers an additional three ninety nine, two ninety eight, or whatever from a local standpoint. If it's in town and everything, if it's in town, then 
the delivery fee, the small order fee, and probably in a sense the service fee should all be free. And if not the service fee, you'll still you still want to utilize that, that's fine. But the small order fee and the delivery fee should be null and void if it's local. And I guarantee you, if they go out and make that happen, they make that announcement to a hey, to where they say, hey, if you live in town and everything, then don't worry, delivery is null and void. You know, small order, uh, small order fee is null and void. You know, if they do that, then they'll see an uptake in business. I guarantee it. You know, if they do that and make it more understanding that the only time they'll charge, you know, delivery and small order along with the other fees is if it's out of town, if the person is coming from another town into your town. That should be the only time. That should be the only time, in my opinion. Should be the only time. Because honestly, they keep doing this. It's not going to look good for them uh, in in the long run. And like I said, if if anything else, they should have, you know, you know the retailers like Knob Hill, like you know uh, Rite Aid, like Walmart, like Target, like Kohl's, you know, you know they, you know, even the fast food places like Burger King, you know, Taco Bell, McDonald's, you name it, they should be the ones that compensate the drivers for what they're doing. Because it's the stores that it's the stores and the fast food places and the restaurants that have what the customers want, and it should be them that compensate the deliverers of DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub, you know, for the for what they're doing by going into the store and spending the money. It should be them that compensates them in some way. And if compensating means hey, we'll take care of the fees, then I think that'd be a great way to you know get your business to to see an uptake in the long run. I really do. Because that way, they're still getting paid, you know, the same amount out and everything. But it's not coming out of the customer's pocket, no. It's coming out of the store's pocket. Because the store or the restaurant or the fast food joint, they're the ones that have what people want. They're the ones that have the items people want. You know, and it should be that, it should go that direction, in my opinion. It should. It should go in that direction to where basically, you know, the stores take ha handle the fees while you just handle paying the subtotal and maybe the tax the tax and bottle fee that go along with it. And that's it. All the other fees, delivery, small order service, that should be the retailers. You, if you have any fees to take care of, it should be the taxes. It should be the bottle fee maybe if there's one and maybe even the tip. And that's it. That's all you should worry about. Not for, you know, you shouldn't have to worry about anything else. So to me, there's two things they need to consider and work on. You know, basically null and void delivery and small order fees for anything local, or it, or they should make the retailers be the ones that are responsible for doing all the fees with the exception of maybe a few like tax, bottle fee, and tip. You know, that way, everybody wins in the end, no matter what the decision or direction they go in when it comes to one of those. But yeah, as long as they keep charging this amount altogether, along with the initial payment of what you're doing, I honestly, they're not, the businesses are not going to thrive much longer. And people are going to keep going and doing it, you know, on their own, just like in the old days. But let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Let me know if you've had problems with DoorDash and all that. And fee-wise, and I'll talk to you later.